Not black, not white, but brown. How do skin color and its shades play out in our relationships, our economy, and our politics? Kamal El Solaili's book dares to propose and define an emerging racial category. It draws on a lifetime's travel and inquiry to discuss the common experience and the awkward status of the Latin, Asian, and Mediterranean people of the fast-rising global south. Thoughtful and refreshing, Brown has a chance to become a made-in-Canada intellectual landmark. Brown is a book of creative nonfiction, and it is an amalgamation of interviews with people that I've done across uh, 10 different countries and four continents, and a kind of a person meditation on the meanings of brown skin. This was a new concept to me, this idea of shadism or colorism, and really looking at the world um, through the lens of the shades of skin color and what they represent to people. And it really asks the question, what does having brown skin mean politically, economically, personally around the globe? Maybe the most remarkable thing is the effortless way he transitions from his own life, his own experience, to these sort of global stories and global forces. The Brown story is a very complex story and it's not just about Bollywood movies or The Cleaning Lady. It encompasses so many different facets of our society and that it's actually part of the story of Canada. This is a book that is right on time. It's the perfect time for a book like that to be coming along and to set the terms. He's, he's giving us a new racial concept that is out there in the world that we need to start understanding and dealing with. That personal side is something that as a white reader I, I would never be able to experience myself and it really threw the doors open for me thinking about the real life implications of this in people's lives and I thought that was a gift.